you know, that takes a lot of work, and, and uh, one person can't do it, neither can two. We need, uh, everybody needs to pitch in to try to get more people, uh, younger people, more involved. And, uh, when is the next link class? Let's see. Uh, is it ever Monday? No. It's no. Twice every every other, other Every other, other Monday. Monday. So week may, from, week from next Monday. Monday. Last night. Yeah, the we week week next Monday. Yeah. I'm going to try to get Kendra and Kendra and Kendra. How do you go about we're gonna, we're, uh, We put out a survey sheet, and uh, well, not a survey sheet, a questionnaire sheet uh, that we, we have got some up here that we would like people to, uh, to take and in the hand out to the relational people uh, of, the, uh, of the tribe to fill out that would be interested in joining us to do uh, do all of this <coughs> and that's you know that's what we're reaching out we have it on we had i think we got it in the mail in, in, in the uh, newsletter right and newsletter is on the website and we've also posted it on facebook the newsletter. okay so uh, so we got it we got it in several uh, several places and uh, i don't know how many we've got uh, has come back to us I know one for sure, and it was probably Tennessee. <laughs> There's about 10, between 10 and 15. Okay. And uh, I'm going to have I'm going to have my uh, niece, she, she coming up here, and I'm going to have her, you know, uh, see what they, uh, she could do down there to get people interested in, in it. And so uh, our uh, cultural meeting uh, will be next uh in May. May the second at five thirty if you're right here. Then I present you know our language class to be every other week, which is uh, the following <coughs> be the A to be the a language class. And then we'll have our uh, we're gonna to try to still, you know, keep Bringing, trying to get our drumming back in in our uh, Shosa song. So that's, that's all I have for right now. Thank you, Homer. Okay. Homer, what's your niece's name in Texas? Tanya Finney. Tanya. Tanya. Yeah. Uh, she got her in your name, and then I, uh, I'd have to write it down to remember it. <laughs> but she, yeah, she got another word in your name. Education, you know, bro. Education, short and sweet. We approved one application for a full time spring scholarship for $300. And I would uh, venture to say that's one that didn't have the correct transcript, is why they're just now approved.
and going to you know a room like to visit Betty Crow or to visit one person, we would just we decided to have uh, whoever had the time and could go and go visit that nursing home, even if it's just one or two people, you know, go see them. And we want to get the names of especially uh, Delaware people that are in nursing homes and make an effort to visit them. Because a lot of times they don't have room in their room for a big group of people and they don't, they have activities like therapy and, and they have things that they like to do. So we thought that would work better if just one or two of us went at a time. And uh, so that's what we're going to try for uh, the coming weeks. The, the um, elders did make their trip to the Osage Casino in um, Skytube, and then they discussed, uh, and um, they have made a trip to the Osage Casino in Park City, and that was yesterday. They uh, went over there, they had a good time, they were furnished uh, a voucher of uh, $5 for food and $10 for the machines, and they had help from the people over there, you know, that yeah, basically. I want, I want to say something about that. Uh, I want to thank Mark. Uh, uh, I, can't think of I can't think of his name. Yes. Mark Sims. I want to thank him for, uh, he's the one that had mentioned it to the Osage over there, uh, that they would, uh, that they give my daughter voucher for, for the elders uh -huh. and uh, $10 for uh, uh, money to uh, play on. And they would, uh, when, we, when we went over there, when we got over there, that pick the, Men come right out there and waited on us and, and help, wanted to help us get unloaded and everything. And they were there to greet us. And I was very impressed with what they'd done. Uh, the food was great, the machines were great. Uh, there was, uh, I think there was 18 of us went. And uh, everybody had a, had a good time. And um, some, some people got lucky and some just enjoyed themselves. <laughs> well, the, the elders, they uh, are enjoying this, you know, it gives them something to do. And then also, uh, Mark has been coming to lunch here, he and his wife come to lunch here and we're getting acquainted with him. And uh, so we really appreciate what he, uh, what he did. And then we had to... Uh, we had ordered stainless, uh, some stainless steel, steel tables for the kitchen, and we found out they were $496 per table. And then we found out that there was an additional charge because uh, in order to have stainless steel legs, we had to pay an additional $150 and to each table. So we made that and approved that. and. Uh, then uh, Stomp Dance update, Bonnie Jo reported that she would be spreading the rice seed and that um, she also stated she would like to host the small Stomp Dance on the grounds for just the tribal members, you know, as soon as we can, as soon as she can. And that, I think that's all. Oh, we will have an elders health fair on the 21st of this month here and it'll be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and there's going to be information and, and uh, Mary Randall is working on this and she will uh, be in charge of that and that's all we have. Does anybody know if the rice seed got scattered right there? Um, Bonnie reported that um, she was going, well that day of our meeting, she reported that she would spread the rice seed that day. Chief, do you know if it got done? I, I don't think it was done until Sunday. 
And it got raked in this time? Mr. Farland, no, okay. yeah. That I, I, I will say that I'm not at all certain that just what I heard was going to happen. I hadn't asked her specifically. We'll get some grass growing on there, all that dirt's going to wash away. Yeah, yeah we're, be, we're not going to be able to have it stomp down there yeah. until we got some grass on it. That's all I have. Thank you, Mary, and thank you all for your comments. Reinvestment, John. I'm reading the report. Are you, in regard to reinvestment, I guess the, the last three meetings we started off with RVS and then Sutter Field, oh, yeah, and now for the presentation. I did it up to, I just uh, brought it up to, to make sure. I think Paul has been doing a pretty good job of bringing this people to oh, talk yeah. about. Uh, is it favorable to this board to go ahead and let him bring on, uh, I think it said Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd say so. He's the one with another one. Uh, tribal operations, uh, the only thing I've got to report is that the tribe has been uh, provided their $13,800 and some dollars. Veterans Committee, uh, Roger Stewart. Uh, no meeting, no report. But I want to say the veterans, next veterans meetings, 20th April. Thank you. I would like to uh, mention something on that on the veterans meeting too, and what's coming up for our veterans uh, on April 23rd. We're having a uh, auction to uh, get the. Uh, more money so we could uh, pay for our rifles and, and what we got and uh, we're looking for more items for for the option for the veterans and, um, we're having a uh, spaghetti and chili dinner at five dollars uh, five dollars a plate and we uh, would like for everybody to come up here for that well we charge ten dollars a plate for your time <laughs> What's the date on that? Uh, April the 23rd. <coughs> and when we also we also got a, a, a raffle ticket for a, a 22 Magnum uh, lever action. And what was the name of that joint? Henry Miller Boy, Brass Receiver. And it is a, it is a real nice looking rifle. You ain't kidding. It's an actual disc for the plain Jane. 22 Mag Yellow Boys, basically 550 bucks. So it is not a cheap 22. It is not. And it's American made firearm. Yeah, lever action. That's Every, what I like about Oh, it. yeah. Beside the bit perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Real perfect. So, because on the 20th, we're going to have to go. Well, I mentioned it last time, but we've got to kick some butt on these ticket sales. You know, I've been trying to pick, run people down to give them tickets, but I'm not, all having, they I'm not having much luck. Yeah. I've already sold, sold all I've sold is twenty dollars worth. That's all the sales. Damn, I sold hundred and seventy. Yeah, you yeah, you got relations that's really interested in it. <laughs> I'd sold more if I could buy some. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'd buy it. I'd no, in a heartbeat. I mean you may but, know the better can't buy? No. No. no this, that way there's no impropriety. Okay. No, no rig, no fix, and all that. There you go. Okay. Yeah, but if you've got a sweet old lady to buy something, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, come to think Thank you. Roger and Holder. Would it be possible, 
uh, since we're still in winter time, to go ahead and set up a jar, say, like uh, receptionist or something has some tickets up here with the panel out in front. And the whole day or lobby, whatever you want to call it, with the explanation, the poster board of the Rockwood sell and sell tickets up here. People that come in like for lunch. Put a picture of it up there too. That's what I'm saying. Put a picture. An explanation. Would that be? I'll tell you. That would probably help the sales. Like, yeah. That's what I'm thinking because a lot of people come up here yeah. for lunch. Have you, got, have you got pictures of it? I, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I like to have a picture because a lot of people would like to see the picture. Okay. See what yeah, I've got some. Well, as a matter of fact, I've got some out of the truck. That's great. They, the, the kind of tickets that are being sold. That you uh, yeah, it's double true. tickets. It's you double write your name on the, right. on the one that the, the veterans keep. Yeah, okay. yeah. we're going to explain that to you, John. Yeah, you don't need your address. All you need what is, is his name and phone number is the most important because it uh, need not be present to win. But the winner has to go to uh, CSA, which is down by Tallgrass uh, Carlisle. And they have to fill out the paperwork, be accepted, and then they can pick up the rifle. They have to do that. You can't pick it up and transfer it to them. I don't know. Dana, you don't think that that would cause uh, Angela a problem, do you? No, I think that'd be okay. We'll just, we'll just do it. Well, wouldn't it kind of be nice to ask her? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know she's an employee, but I mean, it's still a little bit of courtesy there. I'll form it in the, in the I'll, I'll word it as a question. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> I would then give me a call when it's all clear. I will. I will. Mean, if she says, oh, I won't take that off, <laughs> then you'll say, do it anyhow. <laughs> so give me that look. <laughs> Don't look that in minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's already on the movie. <laughs> oh, well, we're entitled to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> exactly. Um, Do I? What is the veterans auction? I missed out on the 23rd. Uh, the 23rd. Week from Saturday. Here? Yeah. yeah. Um, Okay, and then, oh, that's, um, when is the stop dance? It says Operation Eagle is having the stop dance. No, uh, uh, no, it was uh, the opera, uh, uh, we, I mean, we had talked about the stop dance that we, that, uh, that we had, then, uh, for the culture. Uh -huh. Then, I went and jumped right into the, uh, the, uh, uh, you announced Operation Eagle. Yeah, yeah I announced out in Operation Eagle. It was last year, was it not? Yeah, having their power last week. It was last week. Oh, okay. It wouldn't hurt to put out to the uh, elders at lunch that the veterans are seeking donations for their auction. Yeah. Too. And we're needing all the help we can get. Okay. I bet you Mary Brand will take care of that. She will have to. Oh, and uh, on that too, I had talked to uh, uh, Barbara. Uh, she's a member of the uh, Delaware Moore Mothers. I talked to her yesterday, and she didn't know anything about it. There's several people I uh, talked to didn't know anything about the, uh, the uh, option either. Do we I thought that was supposed to have been put in the paper. Do we have any flyers up anywhere on the auction? <laughs> and that, that's what I had. Uh, that's what I had uh, talked about. And uh, we, uh, I hadn't seen any flyers. And the only thing I know is it was mentioned uh, on the website and uh, in the dead or news. Kenny had to put it in the report. Yeah, we need to get Yeah, we don't have to. And uh, you can take care of that for us. Yeah, we only got it. We only got a week and a half now. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a quick uh, uh, mention in uh, Barnesville paper. 
it was just, it's an open option. It's just not for the tribe. It's open to everyone. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think the paper or that cable one will do us any good. Don't know if we don't try. I don't know. Marshville paper might. I don't think people look at their cable one anymore. My father in law does. We didn't get one. <laughs> Homer, you didn't get one call from that, did you? No. Neither did I. And that we had both of our phone numbers listed, and it run for like two weeks. We did not get one call. Wow. Well. So, uh, yeah, uh, we do need some. We need to. But the veterans, we do need to get, you know. Thank You know, I told Barbara yesterday, and uh, I, and I also talked uh, uh, to uh, Mary, Charles, about that auction and everything. They didn't even know it, it was here. And I said, "Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that we got to talk about it. when we said that Home State's conceded over the Home City. That's when we talked about it." And, and you know, I and I thought I thought they knew. I thought everybody knew and nothing. And I found out yesterday that nobody knows. And so that's when I figured, well, we were, somebody better step up and let's get the news out. What uh, what time is our auction going to be? The uh, the door is going to open at ten o'clock, so we get everything set up. Uh, we're going to have uh, lunch at twelve o'clock. Uh, that's the one we serve. Uh, Yellow, uh, spaghetti and the chili. Then at one o'clock we'll start the auction. And then we'll go until whenever. You're getting all that thing. <laughs> we'll we'll get wires on all the doors and some additional ones to spread around where we can. Yeah, like a couple and put them up over there where I live. Yeah. And I'm not gonna ask thousands. <laughs> well, I we'll just have a thought. I'll probably forget if I move the files and meet you in the line. Atwoods, I've got to go there tomorrow and get a talk to them. I can talk to the manager. They have let several organizations set up a stand out in front of their door out there in the West Park of North. So selling tickets on different things. I, I forget who it was for selling tickets on rifle. My daughter's baseball team. I bought my smoker there one year and sold briskets and uh, slabs of ribs all day long. And Smokey Joe from Nolan was set up right next to me. He didn't sell them. Right? He didn't sell them. That was, he'd come in over and ask me, how did you smoke them ribs? How did that so tender? He said, you sold. He said, I bet you sold 30 or 40 today. I hadn't sold anything. <laughs> Well, that would be so they let, let us set up for free. Me. I got, I got, I didn't, I forgot to bring it, but uh, I got a penalty blanket that was for the uh, power over at uh, Tulsa. Oh, okay. I got it, and I, and I keep forgetting it, let you know about it. Your story, tell it like you do I hear any unfinished business? Yes, to make it legal, I make the motion that we allow Paul Bradford to make arrangements with Charles Schwab to come and make a presentation. I'll second that. Me. Motion been made and seconded to get to Charles. Uh, Paul Bradford. That's what I said. Uh, to get uh, make arrangements for Charles Schwab to be here at our next regular meeting. All in favor? Aye. 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 I have one other item of unfinished business. Joe Brooks made the motion for the treasurer to contact the tribe CFO and get a total of fees charged by Harvest for 2015. My bad. My huh? bad. I forgot. Gene was here when that motion was made. And I, I didn't go to reminders, but that, the 
lot of that's my fault. I, I still want to see how much our best bank charged us for 2015. Here it is. There she did. Well, she snuck on me. Where's that? And stuck in the financials? Yeah. I didn't see it. I mean, my name's better in here. It's back. like the second page. Take the back. Oh, from the back. Yeah. That's two pages I had stuck together while ago. Yeah, it looks like this. Here it is. Right there. Yeah. But for 215 total management fees, 19,048.36. Year to date broker fees, and as of this time, 782. My financials don't, don't have that in it. <laughs> That's why I didn't. Oh, we don't have this page? No. Oh. Well, that was the last one. Yeah. It's not in here. Or it's not in this one. Oh, in the packet. Yeah. She covers me. You, it wasn't in your packet. Not on the one I printed out on my computer, but yes, it was in this one. Okay. And that's the one I, the one I brought, the one I read at home. So. Well, you, you're right. I guess Jane was here. She must have picked it up because I, she, I she did what we told her. Yeah, not completely. Can you figure out what percentage that is of four million dollars roughly? Nineteen thousand. What's the forty four hundred dollars and eighteen cents out of oh two thousand sixteen? That's for the first three months. Oh, okay, yeah, you about figure that out for two just two thousand and fifteen. Plus the seven eighty two forty nine. Except for the broker's fee, that's part of it also. You want me to just divide that by four million? Yeah. That was rough average of what we had last year. That'll give us an idea of what percentage it is. Point four seven six percent. Less than point four eight percent. Less than one half percent. A little barely. That's what I wanted to check out. That's what's what I wanted. So I'll drop that as old business. <laughs> I have one thing about unfinished business. Um, I think we need to take off of the website that we need a trust board member because we've got our trust board member back. Absolutely. <laughs> For sure. No, I'm glad, we're glad to have you back. Right? It's good to be back. I had a scare with my health, and I didn't think I'd be able to, you know, keep up with everything. And then um, I ended up in the, in the hospital, and Dr. Murley is my heart doctor, and he <coughs> said it's time for a pacemaker. And so I've got that, and I feel great. Welcome yeah, to this club. It yeah. makes a heck of a difference. Don't know about yes, that. You have a heart problem. You really? said my prayers every night. Thank you. Thank you. I do that every night when I go to bed. I pray about about 15 minutes. <laughs> but it's a lifesaver. It is. I mean, my energy doubles. I wasn't as cranky and whiny. <laughs> but I do pray every day. Dana, uh, Dana I know. Uh, in fact, I think I heard you call Chris Miller about it. 
Yeah, it's, it's off of the website. Um, there's an events page that once something is put on, it just stays at old, as old news. But he took it off of the tickler that runs and took it off of the latest news. So. My mistake uh, on the charges. <laughs> no problem. I forgot about it. Wasn't I, didn't, in, I didn't know it wasn't there was in there on the internet, and that's what I brought. And I didn't even look at this other package you made here. Still had to be feeling guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Well, I would feel a little guilty myself because I hadn't said anything to Jean, and I think you asked me to. But I, she must have she picked must it have up automatically. Do I uh, hear any new business? Yes. Who all on the trust board didn't get one of these from Mike first? I didn't. That it? Yeah. Over wants one. If you print him one off, then the next day or so. Is it? Did they just bring that tonight? This is mine. Did they? No. Oh, no, I just want a hard copy. Okay, because I emailed them all out. Yeah, so I'll be happy to make one. Yeah, he wants a hard copy. I can't sit and read on a computer top and I'm sure you're not going to print it off and use all my ink cartridges. <laughs> <laughs> Do I hear any further new business? I think somebody said asked for an executive session. I did. How long is it going to take? I need to go see three or four minutes. Okay, I'll wait that long. I'm not tapped in. Uh, Do well. Let me ask this: Do we want to go ahead and? We can shut the door, set it, do it in here, or we can go in your office for five minutes. Either one. Don't even take five minutes. Either one. Let's go in your office. That way I can make the stuff. I would. <laughs> <laughs> May the 18th, that's all right, please. Uh -huh. What time does everybody want? Would five be better if you want to there? Five is fine with me. I'll make the motion we hold the next meeting May the 18th at 5 p.m. at this location. I second. Motion well, been made and seconded to hold our next regular meeting May the 18th. At 5 p.m. right here. Motion to adjourn. Uh, all in favor. Aye. Aye. I've got it written down this Motion to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs>